We all know DMR Radio is connecting hundreds of thousands of hams from around the world. We know it offers superior voice quality and signal coverage. It even has data applications and enhanced security features. But there are a few things some of us might not know about it. So we'd like to share five facts you might not know about the most powerful radio mode there is. Although DMR is being used by an ever-growing number of amateur radio operators, DMR was actually initially intended for commercial use. This was due to the narrow band mandate by the FCC. Moving land mobile radios from 25 kilohertz efficiency technology to at least 12.5 kilohertz efficiency technology. DMR radio meets this requirement because the DMR standard specifies two slot time division multiplexing technology to split the 12.5 kilohertz channel into two virtual 6.25 kilohertz communication paths. Now this technology is available to amateur radio users so you can enjoy the power of commercial grade technology in your amateur radio. More importantly, you won't have to worry about meeting the likely efficiency changes from the FCC in the coming future. One of the most surprising things about DMR is it doesn't need the internet to work. This is often why so many hams are turned off by the mode because they think it requires a Wi-Fi connection of some sort. But you can easily use the DMR radio without an internet connection. Digital radio really just means the signals used to send information like your transmissions are digitally encoded into bits. So even if you don't have an internet connection, you can still enjoy DMR radio. As long as you're within range of a digit repeater or simplex range of a DMR radio. However, most digital radios and systems are connected to the internet because this allows you to essentially talk to anyone on DMR. If you'd like an in-depth understanding of how this works, we've shared a link below. As we said earlier, DMR radios use a two-slot TDMA technology splitting the voice communication calls into two times TDMA stands for Time Division Multiple Access, meaning that it allows multiple users to share the same radio channel. This essentially doubles repeater capacity while maintaining the RF signal quality of the 12.5 kHz signal. Analog systems, on the other hand, use the entire bandwidth for one voice call. Hams using analog will be limited to one call per channel, but with TDMA, two conversations can happen simultaneously and without hindering the call quality, all via a single repeater. As a result, you will lower costs and enjoy higher channel efficiency when using digital radio communication. DMR radio is an open standard. A problem that occurs with many digital products today is they don't have a required standard to follow. However, DMR is an open standard and is compatible with many different devices. This creates more opportunity for you to have choices in the marketplace. For you, that means lower complexity and lower costs. Besides being incredibly efficient and making compatibility between equipment pain-free, DMR is easy to switch to. Changing to something new almost always brings frustration, especially when your new system doesn't work with the old. Luckily, an important design achievement of DMR is its ability to fit into existing analog systems. DMR portable radios have simply designed transmitters similar to those found in FM systems enabling them to use dual mode. This way your radio will have no problem using existing analog systems or switching modes when you're in an area without digital infrastructure. Well, there's our top five facts about digital mobile radio. If you're still using analog, now is the time to join the world of DMR radio. To learn more about how DMR radio works in its entirety, click the link below. We'll share a deep dive into the ins and outs of the mode. And as always, thanks again for watching in 7.3.